Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new here, my name's Amy. I'm a full-time reseller primarily on the Poshmark app, but I do dabble on other online platforms and I sell locally. Today I'll be doing a ship with me video. In these videos, I go day to day and there is typically at least three clips in the video. So sometimes it'll look like it's over, but keep watching because there is more to come. I talk about how much uh, the items sold for, what I paid for them and what my profit is. So you wanna be sure to watch all the way to the end because I always have interesting and unique items uh, that you can hopefully learn something from. So let's get started. The first item is this semi-vintage uh, studded leather belt. And this is by Esprit. So it's probably from, maybe from the 80s or 90s. I'm not exactly sure. It could be a little bit newer uh, because I think Esprit is still in business actually. Uh, but anyways, I picked this up because I liked the studded detail. It was in very nice condition. Looked like it had only been worn a couple of times. And uh, the fact that it was that Esprit brand kind of brought back memories for me because that was super popular when I was a kid. So I had this listed for $39. The buyer offered me $35. Uh, or maybe it was an offer to Liker with discounted shipping. I'm not sure, but it sold for $35. I paid just $2 for it. So that made my profit $23.98 after posh fees and my cost of goods. I'm thrilled with that. I really didn't know how much this, this would sell for, but I think that is a great amount. And I'm just getting more and more of you who are commenting and saying that you're buying belts and uh, that you're selling them. One of you said you sold a, hundred, a belt for $140 recently. I'm so excited. A lot of you are actually saying that you're selling belts for more than I typically do. So maybe, maybe I'm leaving some money on the table. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm very happy that you guys are learning and making money from the content I'm sharing in my videos. Okay, the next item that sold, this might be kind of hard to see. It is a vintage Black Hills Gold butterfly earring. I had this earring listed in a lot of earrings. So I had like, I think like six or seven listed together for a higher dollar amount because they were all single earrings. And someone commented on the listing and asked if I would just sell the butterfly earring. And I said, yes. And I told her $25. And then uh, when I listed it, I listed it at 30 because I didn't want someone to like it and get, uh, you know, an offer to likers with discounted shipping. But I added it to her bundle and I said, I listed this for a higher amount, but if you just offered me 25, I'll accept. And she kind of went quiet uh, for, I think, almost 24 hours. And then she bought it for, for $30. So, um, I'm not sure, maybe she didn't see my comment on the bundle, but uh, I'm happy that it sold for $30. I hope that she is okay with that. I am going to have to pause the video because I have a tickle in my throat and I don't want to cough, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm better now, but I brought my water up here with me just in case. So like I sold, said, this sold for $30. I had bought this in a bag of jewelry so sometimes at estate sales in my area, instead of pricing items individually, they'll just put them in a bag and price it at like $10 or something. And so this bag had a whole bunch of earrings, including these um, six or seven different Black Hills gold earrings. So I only paid about a dollar for this earring, which is great. So that made my profit after posh fees and my cost of goods $23. That's just fine with me, especially for a $1 investment. I actually think that's great. The next item that sold is this fun pair of silver tone earrings. And then these balls in the middle are gold. And these aren't uh, 
sterling silver or any precious metals. They're just silver tone. But I really liked the style of them. I thought it looked like a designer style, kind of like David Yurman. So actually when I was at the estate sale, I was just grabbing items and I thought these might be sterling when I grabbed them. Uh, but when I got them home, I saw that they were not. But they were only $2, so I listed them, I think, for $22 or $24, and this buyer offered me $18. When it's a costume jewelry piece, I am, you know, happy with $12, $15, $20, $20 depending on the item. Uh, but so I was, I was pleased with that $18 offer, so I went ahead and accepted it. Like I said, I only paid $2, so that made my profit $12.40. That's just fine for a $2 investment. For those of you who haven't watched my videos before, I use these little plastic boxes that I get at the dollar store. They're in the aisle with food storage, like with the other Tupperware. Uh, but they come 10 in a package for, what is it, $1.29 now at the dollar store. Uh, so it makes them pretty reasonably priced. And I get lots of feedback from buyers that they like these little boxes and that they can reuse them. So that always makes me happy when a buyer can reuse the packaging that I'm sending. And for my ribbon, I don't buy new ribbon. I only pick it up when I see it at estate sales and thrift stores. And some of my friends save it and give it to me uh, because I know that most people are gonna throw it away. So I don't want to be purchasing it new and contributing to more waste. I figure it's already made, it's already been purchased. So that makes it a little bit better. Okay, the next sale is pretty fun and interesting. So it is a bundle of these three sweatshirts and they are these hilarious vintage carousel horse sweatshirts in different colors. I went to a small town thrift store and one week they had this turquoise one and they had it priced at $3, so I picked it up because I just thought it was hilarious. And it was in really nice condition, uh, looked like it hadn't been worn or only worn once. And then the next time I went, they had three more in different colors, and they were priced at 2 and $3. <laughs> Aren't these funny? And they are just fruit, fruit of the loom, and you can see this is the vintage tag. So I listed all these and I mentioned in the listing that I had others listed. And so this buyer must have found them and added them to a bundle. I think I had these priced at $49 a piece, which was kind of high, but because they were so unique and in such good, good condition, I thought I'd shoot high. She offered me 100 for all three. I thought that was totally fair, especially since she was buying multiple. So I accepted. I'm pretty excited to see these go. There's only one left and it is black and it has more turquoise design on it. And you know what I realized that I should have put grandma core in this listing as a key word. So I'm definitely going to update that remaining listing because these are so grandma core. But I did put, you know, uh, 80s, vintage, metallic, all the things. Okay, so I paid two to three dollars a piece for this, for these, so a total of eight dollars. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $72 for these three pieces. You know, sometimes, I mean, that's a great profit, but sometimes, you know, I don't make a huge profit on every item, but when it gives, when it makes me smile and, um, yeah, sometimes I'll just pick things up because I like them and they're fun and I want to save them from the landfill. Okay. So the next item that sold is this pair of leather pants. And these are kind of a wide flared leg, 
They have this studded detail. They have a lace up front and they are a lower rise. They are from BB. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I believe that these are from the 90s or the 2000s. So when I saw them come out on a new cart, I grabbed them, even though they did have them priced at $12.99. But I was happy to pay that because it is festival season and I figured that someone could wear these to a concert or they could wear them to a rodeo um, or a biker chick could wear these. They just were really versatile and the leather was super soft and nice. So I listed these at $89 and a buyer started off by offering me 50. I didn't accept right away and I didn't counter. I was trying to decide if I wanted to just accept the 50 and move them out. And in the meantime, she canceled her $50 offer and increased her offer to $62. So I decided to go ahead and accept that. I may have been able to hold out for a little bit more, but I feel like right now it's festival season, it's concert season. I felt like it was a good time to sell them and it still left me with a great profit. So they sold for 62, I paid 13. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $36.60. And she did in fact message me after she bought them and say, say I'm going to a concert on the 21st, when will you ship these? It's the eighth today, so she'll get them in plenty of time. Um, but as I su suspected, she will be wearing them to a concert. Those only took a week or two to sell too, so they sold relatively quickly. I didn't mention those carousel, carousel horse sweatshirts. Those took a while to sell, probably four to six months. But as I've said before, that can be the case with vintage. Okay, these I am not sure about. They are Carhartt, and you know that I've had really great uh, luck with Carhartt, but these are pants, and I sold them for $39 because, you know, they had the dirty marks and the paint marks, and I don't believe that they are vintage. They were made in Mexico, um, and there were certain styles that had like an extra uh, reinforced area here that sold for a lot, but these kind of plain, you know, cargo carpenter pants seem to sell in this $40 range. So I listed these yesterday for $44 and I got an offer for $39. I decided to go ahead and accept that because if the buyer had have liked the item, they would have gotten a $39 offer with discounted shipping. So they would have sold for even less than that if they had just liked them. So let me know in the comments down below, did I under, if you know about Carhartt, did I undersell these? I really didn't think they were anything too terribly special based on my research. Also, I had got these at a fill the bag sale and my average cost of goods was 15 cents. So I only paid 15 cents for these. So that left my profit $31.05, which is wonderful, especially for a 15 cent investment. But Carhartt just continues to surprise and impress me. I really didn't expect these to sell so quickly or you know, I, I don't know, but I'm happy with that. So that is all for today, but I will uh, be back in a couple of days to share what else I sell. I was pretty happy with my weekend sales. So that was eight items uh, that I'm shipping out, which is a little bit better than it has been. One thing I did change, and but I guess not many of my items sold to offers to likers. So I changed my Posher VA. I used to have it to where it would send a 10% off offer with $4.95 shipping nine minutes after they liked the item. I changed it to send out the offer five minutes after 
they like the item, still 10%, but I upped it to $5.95 discounted shipping because I started to think that that is really adding up because that's an additional $3 discount off of the 10% discount that I'm giving. So I thought I'd try that and see, um, and my sales do seem, you know, like I had more sales, but who knows what that's contributing to. I do think it is important to get that offer sent out while your buyer is still on the app and interested in the item. So I think the five minutes will be better. I'll report back and let you know, well, you'll see if my sales continue to be good uh, this week. Okay, I'll see you in a couple days. Hi there, it's a couple days later and my sales have been really great. I'm very excited. I can definitely tell that I uh, listed a little bit better last week. Uh, my sales are just better this week, so I'm super excited. Okay, let's get started. The first couple of items sold on Cherish and the first item is this vintage trinket box and just a really beautiful velvet lined box. And this is a cloisonne piece. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's marked Ando, A-N-D-O cloisonne. And it has this beautiful uh, rose enamel decoration. Now this I did have listed for a long time. I think, I don't know, probably a couple of years. And it ended up selling for $49. I had only paid $2 for it, so after Cherish's fee of 22% and my cost of goods, that made my profit $36.22. Not the best profit, but I'm happy to move this out and uh, make room for some new items. So I'm going to move this out of the way because I'm going to package it up off camera. And then I had another sale on Cherish, which is really great. It is this vintage wicker rattan uh, plant stand or side table. I uh, like to pick these up when I see them for affordable prices. Uh, that ended up selling for $145 plus a $15 packaging fee. And the packaging fee is in addition to the shipping fee that the buyer pays. So. All said and done, it's sold for $160. I think that is amazing. I paid $10 for it. So after Cherish's fee and my cost of goods, that made my profit $118.22. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched my videos before, Cherish is C-H-A-I-R-I-S-H.com. It is a website that you can sell furniture and home decor on. I really enjoy selling on there. It's not an everyday, I don't have sales every day, of course, uh, but when I do, I feel like I can get a better price on there for the items. So I'm very excited about that. Um, you know, these little wicker plant stands, you can also sell locally on Facebook Marketplace. Probably not for quite as much, but if you find them at the Goodwill for 10 bucks, you could probably easily flip them for $40 or $50 on Facebook Marketplace, and then you wouldn't have to ship it. Uh, but I charge that $15 packaging fee, so that will more than cover the cost of my supplies and some of the time that it takes for me to ship that out. Uh, let's see, I published a video. Well, this will this video will come out two or three weeks after that video, uh, but quite a few of you had said that you may be interested in hearing about my thrifted items that I'm wearing. So I'll talk about another thrifted piece. This is just a simple little uh, black dress and it is, it's just by Gloria Vanderbilt, which isn't that great of a brand, but I thought it was cute and simple and it was only $5. It's perfect for spring, it's about 65 degrees out today. So just thought I'd share another uh, item. These turquoise earrings I actually got off of Poshmark. I love these. They are Native American turquoise earrings and I paid 30 bucks plus shipping, which uh, is a great deal. Usually something this size would be in the hundred or more range. So I love getting good deals. And then this bracelet, which I also love. This was my grandma's uh, I just love Native American style jewelry and Native American jewelry. Okay, moving on. Uh, the next item sold on Poshmark. So this is a pair of Donald Pliner. 
you can see that P L I N E R. Um, what are these called? Platform chunky loafers. And these are practically brand new. Donald Pliner is kind of hit or miss for me, but these sold for $80. When I picked them up a few months ago, they were still available on the Donald Pliner website and they were much more than this. I can't remember exactly how much, probably in the $200 range. Um, but I do, I will pick up Donald Kleiner, but I am very conscious about what the style is because even though they have a high retail value, they don't always retain that as far as resale value goes. I always end up selling my Donald Kleiner. It's just not always for this much. So I paid, um, that looks like I'm about at the end of my tape roll. I paid $12 for these. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $52, which I think is wonderful. I'm very excited about that. Uh, like I said, these did take, I think they took two or three months to sell, which isn't terrible. I'm. You know, I'm not gonna complain about that at all. I have to get a little bit more tape out here. Pardon the interruption. Uh, while I'm doing this, if you are enjoying my videos, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. And um, when you subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. And when you like my videos and comment, that also really helps me out. It tells YouTube that people enjoy my content. And so they suggest my videos to more people, which encourages me and helps my channel grow. So if you wouldn't mind doing those few things, I would so appreciate it. Okay, the next item that sold is another pair of shoes. And these are by Eileen Fisher, and they're kind of a strappy gladiator sandal. And these were also in pretty nice, actually quite nice condition. Eileen Fisher is another one. Um, it will always end up selling for me, but a lot of times it takes a little bit of time for it to sell. These again took two or three months to sell and they sold for $58, which I think is also a really great price. And they only had them priced at $5. So I for sure picked them up. Again, they don't always sell super quickly for me, but they typically eventually sell and for decent amounts. I guess I would kind of um, say it's similar to the Eileen Fisher clothing. It depends on the style and the size, um, and sometimes it can sit a little bit a little while, but usually you end up getting a good price for it. Okay, so they sold for fifty eight. I paid five. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit forty one dollars and forty cents. I think that is great. Okay, I had a couple of sales that I was kind of surprised how much they uh, sold for. I always price my items considerably higher than I anticipate selling them for. So typically at least 20% more uh, than I hope to get for them. That's not in all cases, but in most cases. So these are a pair of Levi's jeans and these are the rib cage wide leg and they are size 26. These are long, very long length, and they were marked irregular on the inside. So I think they were probably from maybe the outlet or Ross or TJ Maxx. I'm not really sure where they were originally sold at, but these sold for $62 which I think is really great. I'm not sure how much these retailed for, but probably over $100. I did notate in the listing uh, that they were marked irregular and the measurements. They were also new with tags. You know, 
honestly, I don't really find that an item being new with tags really gets me that much more money for it typically. What about you guys? When you have something that's new with tags, does it typically sell for a lot more or just a little bit more? I used to get really excited when I found new with tag items, but I don't, I don't pay up for them anymore for sure because they just don't, I just don't get a ton more money. Okay, so they sold for 62. This was a consignment piece. So with my consigners, I do a 50-50 split after Poshmark fees. So that means that my cost of goods was $23.79. So that's what my consigner will get. And I get $23.79 also. I, um, you know, I do a 50-50 split after Posh Fees. It is what I have written up in my contract. And I just, um, you know, I really need to make at least $20 on a consignment item for it to make sense for me to do it. So that's why I need to do it that way. Okay, the next item is a pretty fun sale. This is a vintage, semi-vintage, red leather, kind of moto style jacket. I would guess that this is probably from the 1970s or 1980s. Just saw a little something on there. All right, I got that off. Uh, this ended up selling for $44 with discounted shipping. And I had to work a little bit to get this sale to go through because the buyer had liked the item and I sent them out an offer a few days ago, or I'm not exactly sure how long ago, and they didn't accept it, but then um, they came back and said, I missed your offer, which was for $47 with discounted shipping. And they said, will you accept $44 with discounted shipping? And so I can't send them that offer because it was less than it wasn't 10% more than my last offer and Poshmark, you know, will only let you send out that, you know, same offer every, what is it, 60 or 90 days. So I tried to explain to her in a bundle that she could offer me $42 with regular shipping and that would come out to be about the same price. Uh, but I don't think she really understood what I was trying to say. And then she didn't make an offer, so I went ahead and just reduced the price of the listing to $42. And then she purchased it and it was like, why didn't I get discounted shipping? And so, you know, this is all through the comments. So I said, I reduced it to $42 because I can't offer you discounted shipping. That didn't work, she didn't understand that. So I, copied and created a whole new listing and priced it at a higher price and added that new listing to her bundle and then sent her the $44 offer with discounted shipping and she accepted. So I guess that's one way to work around that because a lot of times the buyers don't seem to understand that when, you know, $44 with discounted shipping adds up to the same as $42 with regular price shipping. It it comes out the same mathematically, um, but it's it's hard to explain that sometimes. Anyways, it sold for $44. I paid four, so after Poshmark fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $28.22. I'm happy with that. This did take a few months to sell. I think five, four or five months, which is fine. I do, you know, I do say a lot that uh, sometimes vintage items take a little bit longer to sell and I am totally okay with that. Okay, the next item is this Calvin Klein men's puffer coat and this is actually down. I picked this up um, about a month ago and I did hope to get a little bit more for this, but because it is spring and summer is gonna be here before we know it, I got a $30 offer for it, and I just decided to go ahead and accept that. I do not want to store coats through the summer. 
Um, you know, the only ones that I'm willing to store are unique vintage items, uh, but this Calvin Klein puffer, I just didn't think it was worth storing over the summer in order to get another 10 or $15. So it sold for 30, I paid six, so that made my profit $18. I'm happy with that. Um, I think that's a pretty good return on investment and I am moving this out so I don't have to look at it through the summer. Okay, the next item that sold is this men's Western top and this is by Roper. Uh, the red leather jacket Sorry to get distracted, but there was no brand name on that. So I just listed it under the vintage brand. I have had a few of you mention that I don't always say the brand. Uh, if I don't mention the brand, it's because it's not an important brand or there is no brand. And in that case, I will list it under the vintage brand on Poshmark. Okay, so this is a Western Pearl Snap shirt. This isn't something that I would normally necessarily pick it pick up but I was at a fill the bag sale and there were three of these in similar sizes right in a row and it was fill a giant garbage bag for five dollars so when I am at that sale sometimes I will pick up items that I normally wouldn't this was in excellent condition and my average cost of goods for that uh, pickup was 15 cents per item. So the more, you know, the more items that you can get in those fill the bag sales, the cheaper everything becomes. So this sold for 20. I think that might be a little bit less than um, what it was worth, but I did, I did list it over a month ago and there was no likes on it. So I just decided this person wants to buy this right now. I will still make a decent profit on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that $20. So uh, after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $15.85. That is wonderful for a $15 invest, 15 cent <laughs> investment. That is a great return. So I'm not gonna complain about that at all. Okay, that is it for today. Uh, there will be at least one more clip to come, maybe two, and hopefully my sales uh, continue to be great like this because this just makes me happy and it makes these videos so much more fun to share than when I have uh, kind of dismal sales. Okay, I'll see you in a couple days. Hi there, it's Saturday and I have a few more things to ship out. Unfortunately, it has not been very busy, so it's been almost three days since I last uh, filmed and I have three sales to ship out. But as I always say, I'm gonna try and be thankful for the sales that I do have and keep working and I'm sure things will turn around. So let's get started. The first item that sold is this really dainty pair of real gold earrings and they are just little hoops with uh, cubic zirconias just really tiny little cute little earrings. I picked these up at an estate sale and I only paid $3 for them. I had them listed for $89 and the buyer offered me $69. They had been listed for a little while so I decided to go ahead and take that. I thought that was a reasonable offer. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $52.20, which I think is a really great return on a $3 investment. And like I said, I think that's a pretty fair price for these little dainty earrings. Whenever I'm at estate sales or yard sales, I always take a look at the jewelry to see if I can find any vintage signed jewelry or uh, any real gold or real silver pieces. I still like to keep my cost of goods low on jewelry because a lot of times it does take a little while to sell, but as I've said before, it does not take up very much space, so that is totally okay if it takes some time to sell. 
The next item didn't take any time to sell at all. I think, in fact, it was listed less than a week. And as I've said before, I do quite well with white leather belts. I'm not sure why. I think maybe they're harder to find. This is just a vintage woven leather one. And as you can see, it's pretty scuffed up and uh, kind of tarnished on the buckle. I listed this for $39. I got an offer for $22, which seems kind of like a lower offer in comparison to what I had it listed at. But for these woven leather belts like this, that's typically, typically the range that I sell them for is between $20 and $30. So I was, I thought that $22 was just fine, even though I hadn't had it listed for very long. I only paid a dollar for it. So if I can make a quick few bucks, I am very happy with that. Uh, so after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $16.60. So if you see white belts when you're out yard selling or thrifting, I would recommend picking those up too because they are a pretty great uh, seller for me typically. Okay, and the last item, the buyer who bought the other three uh, carousel horses earlier in the week, was that this week or last week? Anyways, she got them and she loved them, so she came back and bought the last one. She asked if I could do uh, $30 for this one, which was actually a little bit less than what she paid for the other sweatshirts, uh, but I said yes because I uh, was ready to sell these and I really hadn't had any other serious offers since I'd had them listed. She is in New York, so it's possible that she is a, another dealer or reseller and that she might resell these, but I am totally okay with that because uh, I tried for quite some time to sell them for a higher price and I did not get that higher price. So I think $30 is just fine. I had paid $3. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $21. Still a great return on my investment. Overall, this week was okay. Um, I had a total of $908 in sales. My total cost of goods was $96.09. I still think that's a pretty great ratio. And then my total profit, which uh, I take out my cost of goods, all of my Poshmark fees, so the 20% fee and uh, any shipping discounts I offer, I deduct that. So my total profit for the week was $622.53. Still pretty far off from my $1,000 goal, uh, but Spring is usually a little bit slower for me and um, you know, there's ups and downs when you are self-employed and you just have to stay focused and keep working to get the sales back up. So I hope your guys' sales are good. Uh, drop a comment below, let me know how you're doing with your listing and uh, how your sales are. I would love to hear. Uh, also a reminder to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying my videos. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.